remember the first day of practice as much as I remember our first summer on campus. Um, we kind of started this thing where we wanted to make a little video blog of like every week. And I think we got what? Three? Maybe three done. But the most memorable one was when we went to Annie's for, to eat and Kiara and Brie could barely walk <laughs> up the stairs. Um, I don't know. That I mean, <laughs> I remember our like, first day of the summer when we, it was literally, we had moved in on Sunday and the next day we had 6 a.m. lifting workouts and then we had camp, um, which I think was basically the whole day, whether if we didn't have class, we went to camp um, and by, I think we got home probably 9, 10 o'clock at night and then did the same thing the next day and that was like our whole first <laughs> week um, of being on campus, so that's, I will probably never forget that. Well, I think we've all been there for each other. We know when we're not having the best days in workouts or practice, we always go to each other and kind of like just say what, what's going on with us and how we're feeling. So I think we've all been able to rely on um, each of us seniors to be there for each other to just kind of talk through and they're going through the exact same thing we are. So I think that really helped us. I think sometimes if we don't have to say anything, we can just give each other a look <laughs> like, you know, depending on what it is, and we'll know what it's like, nod our head and be like, yep, <laughs> you keep it moving. But. Yeah, I think, like, I've really learned, and I'm sure all of us have, like, kind of know when each other is maybe struggling or not having a good day, or even the opposite, like, having a really good day, and we can keep encouraging them, like, kind of got to know, you know, body language and stuff like that, so it's easier to help each other out. Well, in the Bahamas, after we won a game, Pam brought us all to the beach, and we're all kind of like, all right, what's going on? What did we do wrong? Like, what, what, what's going on? And all of a sudden she gives like this big speech about playing Minnesota basketball. And then she's like, all right, now jump in the ocean. And we're like, yeah, if you buy it, jump in. Oh, jump right. In. And we're like, in, in our, our jerseys. jerseys. <laughs> what? So we all run into the ocean and jump in with our Holy jerseys. <laughs> The managers didn't appreciate that, I'm sure, but <laughs> it was fun. I think the fans mean a lot to us. I mean, that's why we come out and play, is to play in front of the crowds and get them excited about what we do. And we've had such great fan support through the ups and downs, and um, I don't think we could have asked for any better fans than we have here at Minnesota. I think especially, you know, the four of us, we're all from Minnesota, and so coming, and I think most of us probably had been to quite a few games before, and so we knew, you know, the tradition and history of, you know, Minnesota basketball, and so I think keeping that support our, throughout our four years um, has really meant a lot to us to have all those fans there, not only, you know, the fans, but also all of our families, and um, to have them at all of our games, I think I would say has meant a lot to all of us. Well, I think mostly we want to end on a good note. Yeah. We um, continue to work hard and practice and um, not settle. Like, we are still wanting to win games. We don't want to end our season looking back and saying, wish we could have done more. Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, kind of want to bookend some things. You know, our, our freshman year coming in, we had a really good season made to NCAA tournament, and I think those are, you know, still all of our goals. And um, just like Nicole said, I think we want to end on a really positive note and kind of leave our mark, I guess you could say. Yeah, I think I, I definitely want to finish well, and um, I want to make it farther than the Big Ten tournament. I think every year since we've been here, we've mm -hmm. got to play one game. You know, our first year we had a bye, but we still played one game, so. Um, um, I want to try and get farther this year and have fun. I, I want to have fun for my last few games. It goes by fast. I mean, it's went by so fast, so try to enjoy it while we can. I think we were just talking about this on one of our road trips. We went out to eat, and there there was one table of four, and the four of us happened to sit there. And I kind of just said, I was like, I can imagine us in like five, you know, and like every, you know, hopefully often just kind of <laughs> having dinner or something and reminiscing about everything. And I don't know, I, I foresee that. Especially since we're all so close. I mean, we're not planning on moving too far, I don't think, so we'll be right around the area. We'll have our coffee dates. And <laughs> Yeah, I think we got pretty close, like, even before we came here, because we knew that each other were coming here, and then we were here together, and so I think after, we'll for sure keep in touch and do stuff, and maybe go to each other's weddings one day. <laughs> <laughs>